That scene of take two. Interior crowded restaurant later. Now that most of the fans were inside, there's barely any room to move around. They talk excitedly back and forth with one another. Most of them are wearing shirts with Jackson's face on them. Eric weaves his way through the crowd of people before he climbs on top of the table that was set up for the autographs and photos. Everyone! The moment he talks, the whole room goes quiet. Their attention completely on him. How are you guys doing? The crowd all cheers. Marry me, Eric! There are a few people in the crowd that laugh. Now, I know why you're all here, and it's not because of me. It's because of the one, the only, Jackson Everett. Softly at first, the group starts to chant, Jackson. Is that all you've got? Come on, you can do better than that. The volume of the chants grow almost definitely <coughs> loud. From the kitchen door, Jackson peeks out. Is that all they've got? If that's the case, I'll stay back here. The chants turn into full-on screams. That's better. He disappears back into the kitchen. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is, Jackson Everett. This time, when the kitchen door opens, Jackson exits with two bodyguards. They make a path for him to get to the table. The moment they get to the table, they leave. You get what you pay for. You pay for them? I thought you did. No wonder they walked away. As Jackson takes a seat, Eric climbs off the table. Okay, everyone, let's get in line. It's time for you guys to meet the man, the myth, the... He looks down at his brother. The goober, Jackson Everett. Interior, crowded restaurant, later. It's hard to tell just how many fans Jackson and Eric have been through at this point. It's still too early in the night for the crowd to have died down. Eric's attention is on his phone again, but he does not look happy. Jackson, on the other hand, looks happy, because he has to. Next. The next fan forward is Haley. She is petite, homely, and very shy. He places a picture of Jackson down on the table. Hey there. He takes the picture and pulls it in front of him. What's your name? It takes a few tries before she can actually answer. Uh, uh, Haley. Haley? That's a pretty name. He signs the picture in front of him before handing it back to her. Haley takes the picture and runs away in tears. Jackson stares off after her for a moment. Was it something I said? Don't know. Don't care. Next. Interior, crowded restaurant, later. The crowd has shrunk by at least half now. A waitress walks behind the table to put a glass of water in front of Jackson and Eric before handing a folded up pieces of paper to Eric. She winks and leaves. Is this her number? Why would I... You're not flattered? I mean, I am, but she has too many parts. I can't hear this. He covers his hands with his eyes. La 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 la. Interior, crowded restaurant, later. With the amount of people that have been in line, Jackson's hand is starting to cramp up with having to constantly sign his name. Eric is now lounging in his chair with his feet on the table. Next! The next fan up in line is Dean. He is tall, lanky boy in his late teens. He is at the tail end table of this awkward stage of his puberty, but it isn't too sure what he can do with himself. He holds the picture out to Jackson excitedly. Hi. Hi to you too. What's your name? He takes his picture and signs it. Dean, sir. That gets Eric to look up from his phone, shocked. Sir? Let him call me sir. I'm okay with it. That's because you're weird. I'm just nervous. I mean, it's you. Well, of course you know it's you. But it's you. He isn't that special. He earns him a smack on the arm from Jackson. Eric grins from ear to ear and bats his eyelashes up to Dean. What I mean to say is, he is the most awesome man that ever awesomed. <laughs> Don't encourage him. He signs the picture before he hands it back to Dean. He stands up from his chair and moves to take the picture with him. Dean clings to his side. Once the picture is taken, Jackson moves to sit down by Dean. Doesn't let go. Um, I... I've got to sit down. Just give me a moment. It's, it's really sweet, I mean it, but, but you should really... I'm your biggest fan. I've really got to sit down. He tries to move back to his seat again, but Dean's grip around his waist tightens. I follow you on Twitter. Um, kind of got a situation here. He looks around to see that no one has moved to help him in any way. I need some help here! Finally, Eric puts his phone down and stands up. I didn't think I would ever need to use this. From his pocket, he pulls out a taser. Are you sure you need help? Seriously? He tries to get away from Dean again with no success. You're really going to ask if I need help? He tries to move away again. This time, Eric moves forward and tasers Dean's side. The teen drops to the ground instantly, twitching, yet still holding his picture. 
Hey, Phil, we've got another one. A large, burly, bald man with a walrus mustache emerges from the crowd of fans. Another? Yeah, another. He motions to Dean on the ground. Phil stops in his tracks. It's a guy. He has fans who are guys. I didn't know they were clingers. They are all clingers, if they get the chance. With a huff, Phil picks Dean up and tosses him over his shoulder. Where should I put him? With the others. 